Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Stand Together. Jump on, say hi, give me a hi in the comments if you're watching this in the replay. If you're watching this live, jump on and give me a good morning and welcome to another Stand Together. Jump on, say hi. Hi, everybody. Who's on today? Give me a good morning in the comments. Who is on today? Hey, Richard. Hey, Pina. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Mel. Hey, Di. Hey, Mariana. Hey, 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 Kez. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have COVID. Oh, you have to say that every fucking time, don't you? I, I wouldn't normally sneeze into my elbow, but I'm using my elbow. Good morning. Good morning. Laura. How you going? Shelly. Vijay. Nick. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Jen. Good to see you. Good morning, Lou. Good morning. Good morning. Jump on. Thank you. Jump on and say hi. Jump on and say hi. How are you all? How are you all? Inside joke, EC. Don't say it. (laughs) Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, welcome. 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 Welcome to another stand together. I hope you guys are doing super well and we're out of the rock and roll. Hey, listen, um, this one we were talking about the last couple of days, we have been talking about, you guys are here, last couple of days we've been talking about, uh, we've been talking about brand, right? Personal brand we've been talking about, but also the, the, the cross between personal and business brand and um, and and how those things can, can affect each other, right? So we talked about our last part. Actually, you know what? Let me show you what I want to... Let me, let me show you something. Oh, actually, I can't because I moved it. Yeah, scrap that idea. Um, we're going to talk about last... We're going to talk about the last, um, the last part, which was, uh, which was the T, right? The A-R-T. And um, I know you were. And uh, the T part of, of the A-R-T is talking about, the, the, uh, talking about trust, authenticity, and your story. Now, I'm going to get to that in a second. Trust, authenticity, and your story is the, second, the, the third part to the three parts of building your personal brand and your company brand. So let's recap a second. If you've not watched the other two uh, videos, go back and watch them because I go deeper into those. And there's obviously some Q&A around it too. But we talked about authenticity. And uh, so we, we talked about um, authority and expertise, our first one. Then we talked about uh, results and proof in our last one, and we went deep on what that means. Then we talked, and then today we're going to talk about the T. So A, R, and then T. The T is around your trust, authenticity, and the story. So what does that mean to you? So what it means is if you want to build your own personal brand or company brand, getting a level of trust from people is a credibly important part of it, right? So the question is, is your brand trusted? Are you building up a trusted brand? Um, and, and are you seen as a trusted person? That's a really important part. The other part of that is is this authenticity. And I, and I spoke a little bit about this yesterday, but in, in a nutshell, this is about knowing that now more than ever before, if you're going to have a personal brand, people are sick of seeing the curated stuff. They really want to see the real raw and real uh, human that you are to be able to connect with you as a person. And so what I what I'll take from that is that if you want to grow a brand, then you need to be able to show the authenticity of what your brand is as an individual. That's pretty easy to do. You just have to be you. Now, in a company, in a, in, you know, in, in a corporation, you know, companies spend billions of dollars trying to replicate the authenticity of their brand, but others just go about it smart in a different way. Think about it. Other companies out there do these huge, massive marketing campaigns about trying to make their, their brand more authentic and real than others like Bunnings here in Australia, they go and use their staff members to go do their ads. You know, they're not paid actors, they're their staff members that are there just saying, hey, come and buy this and we have that and I know this. And it just brings a level of authenticity to to the Bunnings brand. And uh, and it means that they don't have to go and do these deep, uh, you know, uh, uh, pr- um, um, ads with all these paid actors uh, that, that, that when they're trying to get a level of authenticity in the brand, where they just go out there and say, let me go get real time and speak to people that, that, um, that work in the stores. And, uh, and I think Officeworks maybe even do the same thing, right? So 
what I'm saying to you is that the, the last part here, like the T of your branding, the last part of this is, is building up a level of trust, having authenticity, right, in the way that you speak about what you do and what you speak about. So sharing a story, sharing what you do and, and how you do it and, um, and, and why you are you. And that's part of the, the third part of this, which is really your story, is, is, is sharing more about wh- why you do what you do, Right. Right, whether it be whether it be uh, in a personal brand. So, why do you do what you do? I mean, if your personal brand is all about you, um, you know, helping people to, you know, to um, actually, I saw one the other day, and her whole personal brand was about helping kids learn from home. I'm like, great, that's cool, that's awesome. That's your whole personal brand is about hi, I'm blah blah, the expert in teaching you you um, uh, to have homeschool your kids. That was her whole whole whole, whole shtick. But what she was missing in this is that she wasn't focusing on this last thing of tea. We, there was, there was, we didn't know much about her. We weren't connected to her story, right? It wasn't, hey, I'm blah, blah. And uh, listen, I want to share with you my story. Uh, I got into this because I've got three kids or I was looking after three kids and, uh, and here's what I discovered and here's what I learned. There wasn't the authenticity about, uh, about or a lot of people are going through challenge right now. Let me tell you my story about I went through challenge and let me tell you the reason why I'm now... Um, I'm now uh, teaching people about homeschooling kids. Whatever it may be, it's that it's that 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 brand. It's who you are. It's your story. So when we talk about branding in a company, when we talk about branding in yourself as 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 an, as an individual, those quick little ideas that I can give you are becoming more of an authority and expert in your field. Understand the difference between results and proof. And you have to watch the video to understand that because they're very, very different. That was yesterday's video. And the third thing is trust authenticity in your story. Right. Trust, authenticity in your story, and that makes up the T. I know there's three in there, but I can. Uh, trust, authenticity in your story. Become more trusted, right? Do things that make you more trusted. Be more authentic in, in your approach and share your story. Why do you do what you do? Not just what you do, why do you do what you do, right? Why is it important for you to do what you do? So many brands out there are spending so much time and money trying to curate, curate content, um, that is, you know, that, that that you need to do. By the way, if you're building a brand, of course, you need to curate great amounts of content. I do that. I've got a whole department that does that. A whole entire branding team that does that. Literally, an entire full time team plus part times plus everything you can imagine doing all of that and PR and everything doing their stuff. Awesome. But I still need to do me because guess what? I'm not a deep fake right now. This is me. I'm a real person, right? Having a conversation with you. I can't get anyone to do this. I'm doing this with you now. This is me jumping on and saying, hey, fuck, I want to be here with you and share some stuff with you to hope it's going to help you. So you can do the same thing too in your company, in your personal brand. You know, I was saying yesterday that I'm a part of two gyms. One gym that I'm a part of has reached out probably every two or three weeks to give at-home exercises uh, and uh, encouragement and whatever for their members since COVID lockdown. Now, remember in Melbourne, we've been locked down now for about, um, I I think it's about 230 days or something, right? Uh, All up. I've got another gym that I'm a part of which have literally reached out zero amounts of times in a year and a half. They've not said about pausing a membership. They've not said, um, here's some at-home workouts. They've not said, hey, join this community of other people that are in the gym that are all sticking together through this. They have done fuck all, right? So what what are they doing? Well, they're not sharing anything. They're not being there. They're not standing together in their time like they should be. So that shows me a level of, of what their brand is. Their brand is clearly about charging somebody money and then when when people aren't there, they're not actually going out there and building the community spirit, not going out there and actually connecting with people and 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 being there when they need it. So if you've got one gym that's doing it, one gym that's not, why can't the founder come out and say, hey, everybody, I'm the founder of Blah Blah Gym. And listen, I know that there's challenges for a lot of people right now. I'm going to show you some at-home workouts. No one's done that. Even or either free or paid, no one's done that. Yet they had an opportunity in their business to do that or personal brands going out there and starting to share, right? To share and do that. So here's the thing, right? What's important for you is that we have to look at the ART of your own personal brand and the ART of your, your own company brand and say, are we building all these these facets of your brand? If I looked at your, your brand, would I see the authority? Would I see the expertise? Would I see the things that you do? Are you sharing those things that you do? Do you see that in all of your brands? You know, if they look at you, if they look at the things you talk about, do you share parts of your story? Do you do do, do people see you as the authority and the expert in your field and what you do? What 
What are the things that you do that stand you out from everybody else? And are those things that you do being shown to others, right? Are you allowing that to be shown to others? Are you hiding behind, uh, you know, are you hiding behind the, you know, you know, curated content and, and not actually being out there and sharing directly with, with who you, who you really are and why you do what you do. That's what I'd say to you. It's critical that we focus on this. So listen, to recap, we're talking about today, we are talking specifically about the, the, the letter T, trust, authenticity in your story, trust, building a level of trust into your brand, into your business, authenticity, being authentic in all of your, commu- your communications and your teams. And the third thing is sharing your story. And you know what? Here's, here's what I'd like to do. I want to give you all a bit of an assignment because tomorrow we're going to change to a different topic. This is the last one on personal branding for you guys. I want to give you an all assignment. Who's up for an assignment? Who's up for an assignment? Who's up for an assignment? Let me know in the comments. Who is up? For an assignment, yes, even if you're watching the replay or if you're watching it live, who's up for an assignment? Who's up for an M-A-I-A? Let me know in the comments. Who's doing it? Let's do this. I call it life work. Let's get into it. Give me a yes. Give me a hell yes. Give me a fuck yes. Give me a whatever. Right? You up for it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's your assignment. I want you to go live, right? To go live for at least two minutes, right? on your business page, okay, your business page, and I want you to be so real, so authentic, so true, and I want you to say to people, hey, here's what we do, and I want to let you know what it is, right? Here's what we do, here's why we do it, and uh, and I want to let everybody know wh- why we do it, right? So for me, for example, um, we know that one of the things that I do is I do this, right? I could go on live on that page, which I am now, and, uh, and I could talk about why I, why I help people or my foundation. I could go live on that. I could go live on something and say, why do I do what I do? Okay, let me do, do what I will do. If I was going live on the foundation, which is obviously a charity, it's a business, what could I say? I could say, hey, I'm Aaron. I'm the founder and the chairman of the Aaron Sansoni Foundation with myself and my wife. Maybe my wife will be with me. Let me tell you why we started the charity. We started this because both myself and my wife grew up in poverty. We both grew up from migrant parents and we didn't have much growing up. And we made a decision and a commitment to go out there and help people in any way that we can to be able to share resources, to be able to connect people and to be able to raise capital to help those people that really needed it. Why? Because we both came from less fortunate backgrounds when we grew up here in Australia. And that's the reason why we started the Aaron Sansoni Foundation. And it's also the reason why we do what we do. And in fact, this year, we're raising money for the Monash Foundation. And we are building a pediatric emergency ward here in in Melbourne. Why? Because we have two kids and we've been to the emergency department too many times. And we want to make sure that that when we get when we when we have to go in the future, we can take our kids to a place that's going to make them less anxious uh, and 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 okay while they sit there in the waiting rooms uh, and they and they get treated for whatever things that, 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 that have come up and might happen. We're there because we want to create something for our children and we want to create a legacy. There you go. It's me just talking about why I do this thing. Right, that's me going live on a page and talking about why we do what we do. You can do the same thing. Why do you do? That's why I started the charity, and I could talk to you more and more and more about why I did that. Then that's the first part of the assignment. The second part of the assignment is if you gain to build your own personal brand, right? On your your on your your own social handles that you use, not your business social handles, because I can see some of you are using your social handles that you use for business on your personal one, right? Go live on your personal one and go let everybody know what you do. Who are you as a human, right? You know, if it was me, I'd say, hey, hey, everybody, Aaron Sansoni here. I'm a best selling author. I'm a global mentor. I'm an investor. I'm a philanthropist. Uh, and in the, last, in the last 15 years, I've helped more than 350,000 people on and offline to be able to change their life uh, and live a life by design, not by default, and build their empire. And listen, I'm available for, uh, for mentoring. Uh, for investing uh, and uh, for media appearances. And I look forward to having a chat with everybody and I uh, hope everyone's having a great day out there and I hope you're all sticking together and getting through this and please reach out if you need anything. That's what I might do if that was me. What could you do, right? What could you do? So it's not just about what you're saying, it's about how you're saying it. Does that make sense everybody? So 
all I'm saying to you is that a couple of assignments. One, do something on your business page. Two, do something on your personal stuff. But overall, you've got to do that thinking about the ART. Now, if you listen to what I just did, I used ART the entire time and I did my whole little message for you. But just be authentic, be real, be you. Connect with your story, just do it. And that's the important part as well. Does that make sense? All right, questions. Who's got any questions about branding or anything else? Really, go. What questions do you got? Oh, so many comments and questions. Throw those questions in below. Go, 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 go. Throw those questions in and let me know what you've got, what your questions you have. Um, and, and also let me know who is up for their assignment. Who's going to do it? Who is going to do it? Who is up for their assignment? Any questions you guys can let me know. I'm scrolling back just to find, because I know a bunch of you guys dropped questions in the comments. I have to roll back and find them. But if you can retype them in the bottom, it makes it even easier. Go ahead and do that. Nice one. You guys are in. Let me know if you're in for the assignment. Get it rocking and rolling. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Nice work to see you guys are taking the challenge, jumping in, saying, let's do this thing. Love that. Build your brand. Love that. So many amazing comments. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the love. I love that. You're up for it. You're up for it. You're up for it. You're up for it. Yep. Question. Yep. Will, will this help my brand? Of course, we'll fucking help your brand. <laughs> Did I answer your question? Yes. Should I do it? Yes, you should fucking do it. Did I answer these questions enough for you? <laughs> uh, funny. Got to do it, yeah? Got to do it. Personal brand and company brand. Make sense? Personal brand and your company brand. Authenticity, uh, trust, and your story is what we talked about today. Uh, yesterday, we talked about results and proof. If you missed it, watch it because it's not just as simple as saying results and proof. Uh, and, auth- and, and authority and expertise. Again, it's not just as simple as saying authority and expertise. You've got to go back and see what I talked about um, and watch those videos as well. All right? Hey, much love. Loved hanging out with you guys. They're kicking some butt. Looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow morning for another Stand Together. Can't wait to hang out with you guys tomorrow morning. So much love. Go kick some butt. And don't forget, Sharon's caring. Go ahead and share this. Tag friends in it. Go and share this once I, po- once I post it to uh, to uh, Instagram. And let's make sure we get other people hanging out and watching this and, and getting something from this as well. Okay, much love. See you guys in the morning. And uh, go. If you're going to live a life, you may as well live one by design, not by default. See you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.